This project is sponsored by PowerPro, engineered performance. This is an adjustable saw horse designed by my friend Bill Bartholomew. I think it's a great design, simply using anchor bolts as adjustment pins. If you want to build a set for your shop, I'll have a link to the plans in the description below. As you can see, I've already built one horse. Let's go ahead and build another one. And I'm going to get started with this part right here, which I'm referring to as the feet. I'll start by rough cutting pieces of 2x4, a little heavier than 17, and I think yeah, 17 and a half works good. With this first board cut, I can use it to measure the next three. I'm going to try to avoid these knots, especially because they would be at the end of the foot. Now I'm going to change the angle of the miter saw to 45 degrees and make one cut at the end of each board. Now measuring from the long point of the miter, I'll make a mark at 17 inches, set up a stop block, and cut a 45 degree angle on the other side of the 2x4. I've set my combination square at an inch and a quarter, and I'll use it to make a mark at the top of the foot, right there, for the next cut. I've set up a stop block, and I'll make that cut on all four of the feet. I've readjusted the combination square to three quarters of an inch, and I'll mark to make this cut at the bottom of the feet. Again, I've set up a stop block, so all four cuts will be the same. With the feet cut to size, the next part is this part right here. I'm calling that the leg, and I'll need two pieces at 19 inches. The next part is the bottom brace, that's this part right here, and it measures four and a quarter by 15 and a half, long point to long point. Now that I have these parts cut to size, I'll put together the leg foot assembly. Measuring down from the top of the legs, I'll mark at 13 and a quarter and square across on both sides. I'm attaching the foot to the leg with two and a half inch long Power Pro Star Drive screws. And to make sure the screw tracks correctly and the parts don't move around, I'll pre-drill and countersink a pilot hole first. When I attach the foot, I'll use a little wood glue. Make sure the leg is flush with the outside or the, the foot is flush with the outside of the leg. And tack it in place with a two inch nail. Make sure that I'm in position and now I can use the two and a half inch long screw. To attach the other foot, I'll need to turn the two by four over and clamp it to my table.
Toenailing a couple extra nails just makes it a little bit easier. Now that I have the feet attached to the leg, I'll add this bottom brace and that's what's going to add all the strength. I've made sure that I'm flush at the sides and I have an equal measurement at the top here. And I'll tack the brace in place with inch and a half nails. Then I'll add three inch and three quarter cabinet screws to each foot and two to the leg in the center. I'm using Power Pro cabinet screws to attach the brace. I like the star drive and the truss head acts like a washer that provides a lot of pulling power and surface pressure. Okay, well now that I have the legs made, the next step is to cut these cross braces. They measure four and a half by 31 and three quarters, and I'll need four of them, two for each side. When I attach the cross braces, the bottom brace will sit right on top of the foot and be flush with the side of the leg. The top brace will also be flush with the side of the leg and the top of the leg. I'm using a little wood glue and again I'm going to tack the parts in position with an inch and a half nail. After tacking the parts in place, I'll come back with the inch and three quarter cabinet screws for a stronger connection. Now that I've finished with the base of the horse, let's move on to this part and let's call this the adjustable frame and we'll get started with these two pieces right here. I'll need two pieces of 2x4 cross cut at 20 inches. Next I'll use the table saw to take a quarter of an inch off of each side of the 2x4 to square it up. For the bottom part of the frame, I'll need a 2x4 cross cut at 24 and 11 sixteenths, and then I'll rip it at 2. I'll need to make the parts of the frame a little bit thinner than a 2x4 so the frame slides easily in and out of the base of the horse. And to do that you could use a thickness planer and that's what I did with the first set of horses I built. But just in case you don't have a thickness planer, this time I'll use the table saw. A 2x4 is generally an inch and a half thick so I brought the fence in to just a little bit less than an inch and a half and I'll make the rip by taking half the thickness off in the first rip and I'll flip the 2x4 over and finish the cut.
The next step is to drill the half inch holes for the adjustment pins. And I'll drill a hole starting at three and a half inches and then every two inches down to 15 and a half. And then I'll use the combination square to transfer those marks. Measuring in an inch and a half from one side, I'll make another mark at the center. Over at the drill press, I'll use a very sharp drill bit to drill the half inch adjustment holes. I'll attach the bottom of the frame to the adjustment rails with two three inch screws. And I'll use the drill press to drill pilot holes first to make sure the screws go in perfectly straight. The top of the horse is a 2x6 cross cut at 35 and 3 quarters. I flipped the frame upside down and centered it on the bottom of the 2x6 and now I'll use a pencil and trace where it will connect. Next, I'll drill two 3 16 of an inch pilot holes through the 2x6 and try to keep the drill as straight as possible. For the adjustment pins, I'm using anchor bolts. These are eight inch. I think you can probably get shorter ones. And you could also just cut them down. That's what I did on the other set of horses. And that's probably what I'll do here. But you can see they just slide right into the half inch hole. And if you want to, you could also put a bolt on the other end just so they wouldn't go anywhere. But very convenient. And I think it's a really <laughs> useful addition to the shop. Just a few builder's notes before we wrap this one up. Don't forget, there are plans for this project. Just click on the link in the description below. I built the horses out of Douglas fir for the 2x material. That's the 2x4 for the legs and the frame. And a 2x6 at the top, all Douglas fir. The bracing, I used poplar. You could also use pine or you could even use plywood. For the adjustment pins, these are anchor bolts. I could only get eight inch long anchor bolts. They're kind of long. The only part of the anchor bolt that's a half of an inch thick is the threaded part. So if you cut the threaded part off, it's going to go in and out of the adjustment holes a little bit easier. But if you want to be able to lock the pin in place, try to get a shorter anchor bolt and then you can just put a nut on it and it will be locked in place. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this project. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, check out my website for my professional woodworking plans and build a piece of furniture that will last a lifetime.